translate of rare and original books by famous authors. All oh, right, very good. Very good. The museum. Museum. There are many museums around the world where, where many rare things are held, whether famous paintings, you can go to the art museum, to the historical museum, or one museum or another. There are many museums in the world. And what do they have? They have things on display. They are showing the people coming into the museum what they have. In this case, rare books displayed several, more than one, more than two, maybe 10, maybe 15. There were several there. They were very rare. Not too many copies of this book exist. They're very rare. They were published in the mid 1800s. What would that? What, what approximately would that be? The mid 1800s. Yeah. 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 1845, 1850, 1855, 1860. The mid, in the middle, in the middle 1800s. There's the 18 and like 100, 200, hundreds. 1800s, 1868, let's say, maybe. And they were given, donated, provided by, given, donated by a young man who inherited them. He got them from his father. Oh, why? Because he was the heir to his father's estate. The father left all his books, his house, and all his money to his son. And when the son had the rare books that his father gave him through his will, his estate, he decided to donate them to the museum from his father's estate. The museum relied, depended, on such gifts, donations. And why did they depend on such gifts or donations? In order to expand, make bigger, to make bigger and bigger its display, its showing of rare books. Instead of having just five or six, now they had several more, 15 or 20. They were able to take the display and expand it make it bigger. The display of rare and original, the book that the author, like Robert Louis Stevenson or some famous author, actually wrote it in the 1800s, the original. Not a copy, not something printed last month, no. These were original books by very well-known and in fact famous authors that were very well-known around the world, perhaps. Famous, very famous authors, display of rare and original, depended, relied on such gifts to widen its showing, to expand its display of rare and original books. Mid-1800s, 1860, 1865, or thereabouts. And they were given by a young man who gained them, who inherited them from his father, as he was the heir to his father's estate. Any questions about the words? Well, the heir is the one who inherits. Well, it, it's a the heir in this case is a person who inherited, who gained, who received his father's estate. And how did he get it? By the will of the father. He wrote the will, I leave my home, my rare books, and all my possessions to my son. Signed by the father. The father passes away. The lawyers read the will. The son gets the books, the home, and the estate. He is the heir. The king dies. The heir is the prince. The prince is now the king. The state, all the property that the father had. Could be the home, the boats, land, whatever. Whatever he owned. What? Mid-1800s? I don't know for name. 
The mid, the mid would be the middle. The middle. Mid. Or you, it's a way that they, when they write things or say things, that instead of saying the middle 1800s, they would, most people would say or write the mid 1800s. Mid, in the middle. 1848, 1852, 1860. Not 1889, no, that's not the mid, that's the late. Or the early would be 1812. 1808, early 1800s, mid 1800s, 40, 45, 50, late 1800s, 1890, 95, 98, boom. Early, mid, late. In the century. In the cent in the century. What century would this be? What century? What century are we in right now? <laughs> oh, okay, right. And maybe you're in the 20th century, but I'm in the 21st. I don't know about you, but I'm in the 21st. And it's always the, the, the next one up. 1800s be the 19th century. The, the 1900s, 20th century. And now we are in the 21st century. Display, rare and original. The first, original, the first copy ever produced. Any other questions about the words, or the meanings, or the pronunciation? <laughs> Estate, heir, inherited, museum, art museum, history museum. The 19th century. No, once you began the 1900s, you were in the 20th century. About 18th. 19th. 1800s. 1775 is in the 18th century. Uh, 1885 is in the 19th century. 1997 is in the 20th century. And 2017 is in the 21st century. Well, just add one number on and you see it. Oh, 18, 1900, 19th century. That's the way it is. I didn't make it up myself. Honest, I didn't do it myself. The 1800s. But it goes back, if you go all the way back to the year one, that was the first century. When they started, you know, the world has been around for 15 billion years or whatever. But in, the, let's say, the year 5 <coughs> AD, 5 AD, that was the first century. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 50, 80, 90. Then you became 101 AD. That's the second century. And it just goes up from there. But the first century was just the, there was just uh, 
five, ten, the year five, the year thirty, the year fifty-five, first century. But when it hits the second century, it's still one, but it's the second century. You're beginning the second hundred years, and it just goes goes on for year after century after century. And one hundred eighty is the first century. What? One hundred. One hundred AD is the end, end of the first century. The century is one hundred years. One hundred years. So you have to start at year one. So one, two, three, two, you know, up eight, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, end of the first century, one hundred AD, and it begins. The second century, up to 200. And then you begin the third. And it just goes on and on to where now we are in the 21st century, even though the year is 2017. It's the 21st century. But that first 100 years is the first century. What year is it right now? 2017. Very good. Very quick on that. Very everybody. Not 2016. Used to be, but not anymore. Okay. Two thousand and seventeen. Twenty first century in the year twenty seventeen. And the mid eighteen hundreds, therefore, is in the nineteenth century. Even though we're talking 1850, let's say, it's in the 19th century when you start out at zero and go up one, two, three, four.